Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 10. And it's been a couple days since last episode, so this means I have way too much knowledge. E7 knowledge. I could reset the infinity upgrades, but I don't really... I'm not sure if I really need to reset the infinity upgrades. Um, the next set of infinity upgrades is at endorsement 3, and I need E378 universes to be endorsed again. So, I probably could try to reset because if I do reset this it'll just reset my fin I will force an infinity reset but I don't think this this um like means I lose knowledge I'm, I'm just gonna export um like this just in case so reset infinity upgrades I keep the knowledge so that's that's probably what I want so um knowledge boosts the rocket gain and rocket effect I'm not again I'm not sure exactly which one I want um I again I probably don't want to like, start with all collapse. My last one's on reset. Um, or this, except if I get this, it repeals these two. Which I think is dumb. And, like, I'm not exactly sure what the way to do this is. Like, these upgrades work in such a weird way. That's the problem. I probably do... The thing is that I probably do not need... Like, I'm, I'm already noticing that I probably don't need stuff that's like keep stuff on resets and this also this is boosting knowledge gain so the thing is that essentially the ones on this diagonal I don't need so that that, make, that makes it for an interesting strategy I want like maybe this is just the best build because it, I won't need to just have anything randomly repealed or perhaps I could do this except no, that doesn't work. I guess I, it is useful. It, these upgrades are still useful. So maybe I'll just try this build at least early on. And see, see if it does anything. So, um, yeah, I probably want, yeah, I want to get the time reversal um, stuff like this. And I probably want to get like the... Yeah, I, wa I want to get universal collapse so I can start getting cadavers. Um... Again, probably wanted to just do time reversal one more time, and then just get life essence like this, and then get 40 cadavers. I think now everything, um, yeah, just keep doing it just a few more times. Um, get rockets. I just need I need that to be automated. I think that's, that's why is it? I should be automated. It's, pro it's probably because of. Um, yeah, the 75 one here. So, yeah, I'm just going to get to this and then get all that life essence. And this will allow me to start gaining cadavers at a crazy rate. So, yeah, here we go. E4. I think I've basically, yeah, I've, I've unlocked pathogens already. And um, maybe this is the best way to go. Maybe at this point I want to get this upgrade. Which repeals these two. But there is this cadavers and knowledge synergize with each other. And then knowledge and time cubes synergize with each other. I think I want this one, and and then I probably want the um, the one here. The pathogen upgrades are ten percent stronger, which repeals this middle one, which doesn't really matter a lot, all that much. So I'm not sure if this is a better or worse. Like I'm I'm noticing I'm getting less cadavers, but maybe I'm getting more pathogens. Um, not exactly sure. I don't. I still don't have these for some reason. Weird. Why don't I have these? Uh, yeah, that's probably why I'm not getting enough cadavers. It's because I don't have all the time reversal upgrades. So, maybe, maybe okay, now I should probably get some cadavers and life essence, um, just so I can start getting more pathogen upgrades. And this is where it's like the slightly slower part. It's not slow, but it's slower. Because, and then I need, um, E128 universes to unlock dark circles um i don't really need i don't think I, I need the dark circle quite yet or maybe i do because maybe this is a bad build i'm really not sure what to do i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use this build and hopefully it'll work it feels slower than last reset though which is a little bit concerning i mean maybe if i just get some life essence and just wait for a few more pathogen upgrades yeah look look at this this is a whole the full suite of pathogen upgrades 
Like, especially once I start getting the ones that reduce the soft caps. That, that's, and of course these, yeah. I, I feel like now I'm gonna be able to get a ton more. Uh, actually, no, it's not a ton more. Cadavers. It's probably just because of the strength of these two upgrades that, unfortunately, are repealed for unknown reasons. So, okay, I'll probably I'll probably get this, like, and this, and probably this is pretty cheap, and even that. And now, I can, yeah, now I can start getting a, a lot more cadavers. E9, E10. I'm now close to unlocking the dark circle again. So hopefully, this will be quite a bit faster. So 98%, 99%, and boom, dark circle. And of course, I need more cadavers to um, actually use the dark circle. So yeah, here we go. This is where um, yeah, the, the dark the, the dark cycle starts really um, picking me up. So I'm now I'm not getting 3,500 pathogens every second. I should probably get these, and probably this upgrade. Again, this one's a very weak upgrade. So I, I just don't get it. Um, I probably I probably want to actually get um, these two upgrades. They're actually these two upgrades are pretty good. Um, and here's where I can start getting the like the ones here, which yeah they they, they boost each other, which really helps things. And I'm almost, I'm almost up to E105 time cubes, which means I can yeah I, I can get this, which means which I feel like that is gonna give me a huge burst of cadavers, which means dark cores, and I can get this, and this, and that's about it for now, but never fear, because I'm going to be getting this, and this, and this, and uh, two more dark cores. Now, uh, these are still pretty weak, but I, I know eventually they become really strong, just because of, I think, how they exponentially boost each other. So I should probably get these two, and this, uh, that, that's very good. That went from like 40 times to 166 times. Um, except this is just rockets instead of rock, rocket fuel. So, and I can get these last two upgrades. So, this means I can real I can really start. Yeah, those, those those last two upgrades are extremely powerful. I can I can reach E17 cadavers from this, which is gets the dark core all the way up to. On level 11. And these pathogen upgrades are cheaper, or at least this top one is. And of course, these, both the top one and the middle one are soft capped. So, yeah, just always have to deal with that. But, yeah, I probably, probably want to get this and this, which means I can, I can start get, getting more cadavers. I feel like I'm already getting pretty close. I'm up to E260 universes. So, I. I feel like already at this point, I could just like wait a day and reach the next endorsement. And that's pro that's probably what I want to try to do. So, like I, I probably want to get this and just a few more upgrades, and hopefully, yeah, I I, I feel like this will I'll be able to like even with it's only E260, but now it's E270, and it's just gonna it's just gonna keep going up and up and up. So. Yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later and I've reached infinity again, so I can get another endorsement, which means an achievement, which is, yeah, um, for three endorsements, Dark Flow is 20% faster. And also, new infinity upgrades. I think that's even bigger. So there's keep time reversal upgrades on reset. It's pretty good, but I may not want to repeal some of the others. And then this is Dark Flow is twice as fast. Let's see, this doesn't repeal anything. I'm guessing this is gonna um, repeal. It's auto dark cores. That's pretty good. I'm not sure if this one's gonna repeal anything. It does not. Oh, it actually tells you what it repeals. Okay, that that's actually nice to to know. It repeals two three, which is this one. I, do I really want to do that for auto dark cores? And there's gain one percent of cadaver gain every second, and it, it repeals something that's already repealed. So. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, I should do that. Or it could do auto pathogen upgrades, except it repeals, no, it doesn't repeal anything. Wow, that's a lot of upgrades there. And I'm really not sure if auto dark cores is worth repealing this. There's also uh, these two, 
which is scaled rank scaling is 50% weaker. And then, oh, I have enough knowledge for this. This is Infinity 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, and 3 2 are brought back if repealed. Definitely. Boom. The only one that's that's not repealed is, or the, one, the only one that's still repealed is the Knowledge Boost Rocket Gain. This is going to be so OP. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just realizing this is, this is going to be, like, the most overpowered run yet. It's like, I'm, I already have all the life essence. I'm, I'm already up to pathogens, which is just completely insane. And, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be OP because, um, yeah, you, you can realize this, this is already, it's definitely going to be the most overpowered run yet just because of how, how powerful these infinity upgrades are. So... Yeah, I, I, I don't even need to do anything with the with, with the pathogens. I guess I, I if I want I could get life essence, which um which does help cadavers ever so slightly. And then yeah, I should probably just get more pathogens and just more of these upgrades and just yeah, this this is gonna be so P. I I'm already getting pretty close to unlocking the dark circle. I'm already eighty one percent. I think especially once I start getting this upgrade and the boost pathogen gain and just like everything, yeah, I'm 89%, and then 90%, 91, I'm getting a thousand pathogens every second already, and after I get this, I'm going to get even more pathogens every second, once I get this, I'm basically up to the dark circle at this point, 98%, 99%, and boom, dark circle, which means I can start getting dark cores, and since the dark flow is much faster. This means I'm going to really be able to get tons of rockets and time cubes and just everything. Speaking of time cubes, I can get this, which means essentially I can just get each upgrade after another. So this should be your power. I'm already up to 4,000, 5,000 pathogens every second. So I'm, I can basically get like, it's like I'm getting one of these upgrades every other second. That's how overpowered it is. And maybe now I can try for some more life essence. And I should probably get more Dark Horse to really start getting this. Yeah, look at this. E7, E8 as many rockets. It's because, yeah, I, I feel like the Dark Horse or the Dark Cores are just really, they're, they're, they're really powerful. Like, they're, I would say they're OP. So, yeah, I should probably get this. This is only E4. Even this is just E5. Um, I'm already getting 10,000, oh, 100,000 pathogens every second and yeah I, I don't know how much i need for the next endorsement i need e419 endorse um universes to be endorsed again and the next set of infinity upgrades is at endorsement six so let's see how so many universes i'm already up to e308 universes that's overpowered i am like seriously and this is this is e4 so yeah, I could I should probably get more um dark cores. I can't get this last one though. I'm clicking on it and it says this is weird. Is is there a limit to how many dark cores I, dark cores I can get? I feel like there's a limit because it's not allowing me oh, there's not a limit. That must have been a bug. Um and they're super scaled now. Um except I probably I have the cadavers. Yeah, this is definitely a bug. I have no idea why this bug exists. Maybe, maybe if I do that, no. This is probably a bug. It's, I'm guessing it's displaying this as like E26, but in reality, it's like E29 or something. That That's probably what it is. And also, these upgrades are so much cheaper. I'm, wait, I'm clicking this, and it's not doing anything. Maybe this is my mouse, perhaps. It, I, uh, what is happening? I don't know what this bug is. I'm not sure if this is my mouse or... Oh, look. Another endorsement. Boom. It's that overpowered. So, I guess the, the problem is with this is that essentially it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. That, that That's the problem. Because these are forced procedures and some of them give essentially no boost i mean they give boost to knowledge gain but knowledge doesn't really do anything on it's i already have all the up all the infinity upgrades so i don't really need the 
the knowledge stuff. So, yeah, maybe I could try to do stuff here. There's also auto pathogens and auto cores. I should probably get at least auto cores. I, don't, I probably don't need auto pathogens, but maybe because, like, I still need to sort of plan these out if I really want to do it as fast as possible. But, yeah, this is... This is going to be overpowered. Like, I, if I'm already reaching E420 universes in, like, three minutes, I should easily be able to get to Endorsement 6 and, and unlock the next set of Infinity Upgrades. So, yeah, this is, th this is going to be pretty OP. And also, the next mechanic is Ascension. I need ten endorsements to unlock Ascension. So... I'm not exactly sure when that's going to be. It's probably going to be like episode 12. So I'm probably just going to do the rest of this endorsement run and the next run off camera because it's essentially just the same thing as uh, like the, the last run, except I need to get more universes. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.